Yeah. My name is Victor Lau. I'm the leader of the Saskatchewan Green Party. I'm uh, really pleased to be here in front of all the media. Uh, we're still hoping to be in the leaders' uh, debate uh, come uh, later on in March, and uh, we're working towards getting ourselves in that debate. Um, but today we want to uh, basically let the province know that uh, the Saskatchewan Green Party is ready to form government. We have 61 candidates uh, ready and vying for to be MLAs. And uh, we're very proud to say, I know for sure today, that we have 31 female candidates, so we're the only political party in Saskatchewan running a gender-paired uh, slate of candidates. Um, and it's been really, really uh, hard work. Since 2011, when we ran our first full slate of 58 candidates, we haven't stopped. We've traveled throughout the province talking about our plans for you know, remodeling the entire education system, talking about guaranteed liberal income, eliminating poverty throughout this province, uh, redesigning health care for, for local communities so that they have the, the health care services they need instead of uh, basically a top-down approach. Uh, we want to work with citizens and, and patients out there in their local communities. Um, the big uh, other two areas that we're focusing on is rural revitalization so that we can have a farm and, and uh, you know, uh, outside of the major city communities uh, being vibrant. And uh, we have a new northern development policy that will include northerners in the discussion of what type of uh, job development they want to see up north. So we're really excited about our platform for real change. Uh, we really hope you guys uh, take a look at our uh, new, uh, new uh, revamp website. Uh, we have the full platform on there. And uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, the next uh, 27 days of campaigning. Um, we're going to have all our candidates out there doing as much uh, bang on the doors, talking to people about real change. And uh, we believe we are the only party in Saskatchewan ready to bring about real change. And uh, we're very excited about that. Do you actually stand a chance here? A history would say no. Well, you know, they always say that. Uh, Gandhi used to say, you know, first they ignore you. Are you Gandhi uh, you now? <laughs> know, well, you know what, I'm a, I'm a big follower of, uh, of uh, his pacifist beliefs. Um, you know, we, re we really do think that, I was at a healthcare debate in Crete recently, and, you know, just hearing that from the, all the other parties who were present, including the SAS party, which we're really thankful for, and, and just hearing what they had to offer, um, the NDP is offering kind of half measures on reforming health care. The SAS party talks about how they've done all these wonderful things, even though there's been, as we all know, more and more health care crises in, in long-term care funding and mental health strategy and so on. Um, and, and so, you know, from those two main parties, we're not hearing the solutions. And, and the, SAS, uh, sorry, the Saskatchewan Green Party talks about our participatory democracy process where we involve people in designing their health care, not just, like I said, a top-down approach, you know, forming government and then just basically putting out a, a health care solution. We want to involve people in that discussion. So going from there, we really are the party of real change. It's not just about electing a party to the government. It's about designing a, a government uh, that basically serves the people. How, how do you work against that, though, very much being, you know, not the NDP, not the SAS party, not even the Liberal Party even here, they don't really have, you know, a, as much of a profile as it actually. How do you actually figure that into your campaign? Well, I think the main thing we're looking at is getting out to the doorsteps. Um, we're really disappointed that so far the media consortium has shut us out of the leaders' debate. We feel we're the only party talking about sustainability. We're only the only party talking about participatory democracy. Um, we're the only party actually talking about solutions and not just spending solutions. We're talking about actually redesigning education, coming up with a new northern development policy, uh, rural revitalization. Both parties, sadly, the NDP and the SAS party, take rural votes for granted. The SAS party thinks they have that locked up, so they're not even doing anything much about an announcements on rural uh, issues. And the NDP, uh, as far as we can surmise, they, they've just abandoned uh, rural citizens and talk about urban issues only. So we look forward to having that discussion uh, in the next 27 days and, uh, and talking about more about our platform. I appreciate the argument to, to be made on the leaders' debate, but surely the focus for you as a party is either increasing the percentage that you see in each of the constituencies you run, which still is a, a nominal amount just based on the facts and the percentages. I can understand your frustration on the, the leaders' debate. Other leaders, I'm sure, feel the same way. But shouldn't that be your focus? To then, if you get an M. LA, then you can start saying clearly we are a viable alternative for some voters. But right now, I mean, in some cases, the, the candidates are coming last yeah. in some of the well, ridings. Well, the, the, the problem we find is, and, and this is why we're very thankful that you guys all showed up today, we weren't sure what kind of uh, outcome or, or, you know, turnout there would be. But I would say this, we're the only party, the Green Party Saskatchewan is the only party talking about sustainability. And we know for a fact that with the climate crisis upon us, we're the only party offering real solutions. No, no other party talking about that. 
Um, the, the issues of the day require a government response, and that's what we're offering the people of Saskatchewan today. 61 candidates that can form government. We're not just talking about getting one person in, we're basically talking about getting a government elected, and that's what we're focused on. Yeah, but is, I guess, is that the right focus? Because realistically, well, that I, I goal believe, I believe isn't that, going I to believe, happen, right? Well, but why isn't it going to happen? Because we're, we you can't, can't, I mean, are you, yeah. are you, you're, you're prejudging the voters. You're, you're basically saying that this election is locked up, so why even have a discussion? No, I haven't said who's that, going to win. I have said that. But you're that saying we're not going to win. Can I finish though? my question, Victor? Well, I, I, when I, you're I, going from 0.3% in some some ridings that some candidates got to jump to being able to get a 53%. It's exactly the same question I'm asking of Cam Broughton to go from nine seats to, to go into the majority but, category. But why, it's a big challenge. Tell me are, why you can go from 0.3, not even a 1% for some candidates, to suggest that a goal is government. Okay, is, is it not to get at least into the second okay. place or first okay. place. But this is this is this is why